What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? Can y'all hear me pretty good? Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Get the people a minute. What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? Give me a second, all right? So we good on the sound? We good on the sound, everybody? All right. So today's video, we're going to talk about how to stay in shape this summer. Today's lesson, I should say. Let me not say today's video. Today's today's going to be a lesson. This is coming to you from a from a personal trainer of somebody who has been work worked in the gym for years and has signed people up with personal training memberships, signed people up with regular gym memberships, and know that the winter time is the most packed time in the gym. The summertime, that's the emptiest time. Springtime is eh, hit or miss, but the, the summertime, that's the emptiest time in the gym. Nobody's in the gym. And so there's a reason why nobody's in the gym, you know, because pretty much nobody uh, <laughs> is taking it as seriously. They were preparing all year, all winter season and fall season to get in shape. And then once they got in shape, you know, that was it. So Hold on, give me one second. Let's let some more people come in and chat for a second because I don't want to get started and get into my rant. There we go. What's up, everybody? We getting up there now. All right. All right. Let's get into it. So like I was saying, I know that that certain times of the year, people are going in there on spring break and vacations and stuff like that, you know, going on your summer break or whatever it is. And maybe you just burnt out because you get a chance to go back outside and it's hot. Things are open. I get it. You know, and so what's going to happen is your your day is going to be consumed with having fun doing stuff versus thinking about oh, I got to stay in shape. I missed this workout today. I did this. I didn't do this. So I get it. You know, the summertime, you kind of just want to relax and put down all the, the pressure and show off your body. And in this group that I'm talking to right here, I got to, I have to um, clarify something because I don't want people thinking that I'm talking to somebody who's coming just off the couch. If you come in fresh off the couch and you're just trying to, you know, keep it together this summer, that's cool. I'm talking about people who are already trying to be elite and trying to be the best version of themselves when it comes to working out in the gym and i know how that can be because it's for me even i'll fall off and a lot of my my gym friends who really get it in they can fall off too so i know so i'm just talking to people who can really fall off not just you know a person who goes to the gym occasionally and you go once every other week or something like that you know but if you if you're used to working out and you know that summer's coming and i might fall off because i'm about to go do this and i got to go see my mother in miami and i got to go here to such and such place and i got to go spend a night here so once you kind of have that in your mind know that it can get kind of hectic and i know how it is to to fall off so what we're going to do is talk about a couple things i got about six or seven things we're going to go over on how you can maintain your shape and even stay in shape you know and not get out of shape and just some key tricks to remember okay so if everybody on the live stream on live stream who's going to be re-watching this. My name is Kelly Brown. I'm a health and fitness specialist, um, natural bodybuilder. Let's get it in. And here go my top ways to, get in, to stay in shape for the summer, okay? So if you can help it, don't skip the gym. 
like try to make sure that the gym is still part of your regular daily or you know couple times a week routine try not to just skip the gym even if it is the summertime don't let the summer you know come off as a way to say i got an excuse to not go work out remember you could still go to the gym in the summertime and it's probably going to be super empty so that's the time we should really be getting busy you know even though everybody's out traveling and doing stuff sometimes people aren't even out traveling and doing stuff they're just not going to the gym and so the gym is going to be very empty so if you can help it go as much as you can right don't let that don't deter from your routine because of the season um now if you can't because you're on the go and and whatever you need to figure out a way you can have some type of default workout something that you can do every you know if you don't have access to anything last resort one of your last resort workouts i know for me and my friends like we used to go to muscling week every summer and down in down in um, myrtle beach and so when we get down there, of course, we didn't get we didn't get hotels that had gyms in them. We were just trying to find somewhere to sleep and get up the next morning so we could go outside. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. But at the same time, you got to still have your routine. And so what we would do is we'll we'll get down and we'll do um, 100 push-ups, 100 pull-ups, 100 dips, some abs, some squats, and then go outside. You know what I'm saying? So that was our default, you know, quick run around the day routine so i got a nice pump before i go outside if i eat something this is just gonna make my pump look even better you know what i mean i did enough to where it was probably a real workout anyway but it was it wasn't you know it wasn't a killer workout so that now when i'm outside i'm gonna be all extra sore i just kept it simple so you know do that in your hotel room you can be in your hotel room bouncing around and just have your, your quick routine you know they got the pull-up bars that that hook on the doors you can get those you can figure out some other type of way maybe if your hotel has a gym always utilize it for whatever you can go in there get your get your money's worth out of your hotel you know what i mean so use your hotel gym try to get your workout in if you're on the go don't skip it though you know and remember it's only going to help you especially if you're being outside in the summertime and you got that fresh out the gym pump you know what i'm saying because you because you kept it listen man all eyes are going to be on you so just make sure you're doing it all right what's up mr urban world you said thinking about getting a weighted vest to do the pull-ups with Yo, that's a good idea. I got a weighted vest, um, but you know, you unless you just a monster with pull-ups, <laughs> you know what I mean? I know for me, I'm sore with no weights or nothing. If I could do my 10 sets of 10, that's it. That's all I need. I'll be done for the day, and, I, and my back will be on fire. My shoulders, my, my biceps will be on fire right right through here for about six or seven days, so I get sore real fast. But if you need um, you know, a, a weight vest, I'll give y'all a quick story. So... Um, Man, I must have. This must have been 2010. This, this is on weight vests and stuff, right? So this might have been 2010, and I was working at LA Fitness, and I was the personal trainer manager, and I had to hire this trainer, and this dude was this um big, dark skin black dude with dreadlocks. You know what I'm saying? And Buddy was huge, and I was like, "Yo, how are you so big?" Because I'm talking about come, like you see me right now, and you would think standing next to me, I'm 200 pounds. Like I'm, 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 I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like, okay, that's a good looking dude. He has, a, he has a nice shape. But Buddy was big, like he was ex NFL player type big, but didn't play in the NFL. And I was like, "Yo, how are you so huge? Like, are you on something or whatever?" And I was naive at the time. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I could tell it wasn't, it wasn't that. It was more that, it was more that jail look muscle. You know what I'm saying? Like he had been just penitentiary body type look. And I said, yo, what do you do? How do you get so big? You know, and, and be so solid. And he and you know he was big because he used to come in the gym and wear those um, he used to wear like sweat clothes and extra layers. You know, somebody's big when they got on double layers. You know what I'm saying? When they wearing clothes that they don't want to show their muscles off, but you can kind of tell they're stacked underneath that. You know, that dude is huge. So he was he was doing it like that, but Jack, you, you could still see it in his clothes. You know what I'm saying? So I asked him, like, yo, how'd you get so huge? And he said that all he did was everything he does was uh, was calisthenics and he uses a weight vest. He used a weight vest. So it was all push ups, weight vest, pull ups, dips, weight vest. And, you know, put your put your weight vest on and do your body weight dips and stuff. Anything you can do body weight his squats. And he said he just been doing that for years. And every day he has the same routine, 100 pull ups, 100 push ups, 100 dips, 100 squats leg raises and that was his that's his day you know what I'm saying and I'm talking about dude is Jack Joe <laughs> so I don't know how true that is or what else was behind it what he was eating or how, how his genetics was but anyway that's what it was all right now let's get back to the story oh and thanks about the spider-man shirt too you see he got the whole um uh, he got the whole thing on the back so all right the next thing is 
if you're if you're somebody who likes to indulge in alcoholic beverages, I understand. I understand. Now, personally, I stopped drinking. Was it last summer? Might have been last summer. My friend, he had a kidney problem and he was like, I'm not drinking no more. And I said, you know what? I probably won't drink no more neither. I don't have a reason to. All I drank was gin anyway and maybe some Bud Light Platinums occasionally, but I'm not a big drinker. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather just chill. So for for drinking alcohol, here's one thing that I had to, I used to tell my clients to remember a lot. Okay. Don't, first of all, try not to drink beer. Okay, if you can, because beer has is is made with wheat and barley, and what that'll do is swell your stomach up. You ever see those dudes with those big hard stomachs? Those are beer bellies. You know what I'm saying? Those beer bellies are real. Even if you're lightweight, you can still have that beer belly, and it takes away from the aesthetics of your body. However, it sits. It might sit in your love handles. It might sit in your stomach because those are those are water calories, and you can't burn those off. Like your body's not looking to use beer as fuel for your workout because it tore your muscles down. So that that weight isn't going anywhere. You see what I'm saying? Like you got to wait just to pee that out. And that's not a cool thing to do, especially when you're outside and on the go and you're, you're you know, trying to look good still and keep your body in shape in the summertime. So, yes, you can have a beer. Of course, have your beer. You know what I'm saying? Like get get smacked a couple nights, but don't go hard the whole summer. Don't have cans and and run through a six pack now and all this other stuff like you can't do that you know what i'm saying have yourself a beer and or two and that's it and as far as drinks are concerned if you can have drinks that have low calories like drinking your liquor just straight like for me i'm not a i'm not a drink mixer dude i might like a blue mother f or a blue motorcycle whatever they call it i get one of those occasionally but for the most part, though, I'm not a daiquiri guy or I need a martini with an apple with this. And the, uh, uh, I don't need all that stuff. Like, just give me my give me my drink straight and let me get to the point. I just want to feel what it does to my body. You see what I'm saying? So drink your alcohol like that. Start drinking it just straight without all the mixed juices and the extra um, empty calories again, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't burn those off. And when you start having those in the first thing in the morning when you're on the go in the summertime, in the middle of the day, afternoon, and to keep in mind, you're not working out. And remember that alcohol dehydrates you. So you got to drink a lot of water to go with it. And a lot of times you're not just peeing that stuff out. So keep that in mind when you're on the go. Try to have your drink straight. And I'm not saying you got to have your drink straight all the time. But if you're going to be getting busy and, and you know, some of y'all like to drink Hennessy. Some of y'all like to drink, you know what I mean, gin like me. Some of y'all like to drink vodka, like just drink your vodka straight. Don't get in there mixing it with all that stuff and, and adding sodas to it and adding all that other foolishness to it. Like leave the, the Red Bulls and all that stuff, like cut that out, man. Like don't touch those things. Just do your drink and just get get drunk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. Don't worry about how it tastes. And oh, I love this. It has a better flavor. And oh, look, look. no, don't worry about that. Just drink your alcohol and get to the point. So keep that in mind. All right. Um, all right, the next thing, you don't have to eat everything just because everybody else is eating it. And I know a lot of times what we'll do is, you know, are we going out with some people, you know? And so everybody else is, we got a pizza, we got this, or we got whatever, you know? And so you got to order because they ordered something big and this is a burger and fry place and all this other stuff. You might have to get comfortable in your own skin. I'm not saying, I don't do no weird junk like pack your own lunch and bring it with you. That's ridiculous. But I'm what I'm saying is, have an idea in your mind of what you can have in that day that's going to be um, heavy, ca uh, calorically dense, and schedule it to a point where you're not having all your calories all day long. So let's say, for example, if y'all going out to eat and you know you're going to have a big breakfast, you got to have a light lunch, light dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't have a big, nasty breakfast. Y'all got, you know, you went to the Waffle House. Y'all got stacks of waffles and, and, and bacon and you got the all-star special and, you know what I'm saying, now you <laughs> and something else, grits and, and hash browns and, you know what I'm saying, you're doing all that and now you're going out and now for lunch, y'all going to KFC and you got to eat here or you're going to Hooters or something like that. You having some drinks and whatever, whatever. And now for dinner, you got to eat out again, you know, like try to keep it, like strategize the way you're going to eat so that if you're going to have your big nasty meal, have it just at one of those times in the day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. But don't have a big, nasty meal, breakfast, big, nasty lunch, big, nasty dinner. Like, that's crazy. You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> keep it in mind that you can tailor your meals. And you can tell people, nah, I'm good. I'm not going to eat that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm good. I'm not going to eat right now. I'll save it. Or what you can do is get your meal and just break it down. You don't have to eat it all at once. You know what I'm saying? Get some to go. Take it back to the hotel or wherever you're at. 
and and you know and put it in the refrigerator or something like that heat it up later on save that for dinner so keep that in mind too but you got to strategize because when you're on the go and it's summertime and and you're riding around and you're just seeing things you're going to somebody's house or you're not the one driving all of those things can come up you know and you can really start to mess up all your gains just from being sloppy on the go you know what i'm saying so keep that in mind okay um you can be a leader you can tell people no and don't feel guilty about saying nah i'm good i'm not gonna eat that right now like they gonna say oh what, what you trying to do you trying to be in shape because you trying to stay in shape for whatever whatever, whatever. like you no know, kill all the noise but it's way harder to get back in shape than it is to stay in shape like staying in shape you can maintain remember where you were you know before you got in shape and so like for me i keep in my mind like man i don't ever want to go back down to one you know 180 182 like that's ridiculous so i make sure that okay what i'm doing is keeping me in that cycle you know of staying above that that threshold that i don't want to go to so keep that in mind okay and here's another thing too that a lot of people don't understand when you're when you're um going out to eat or you're ordering food out and stuff like that you can order the healthier alternative so i'm not saying order a salad but let's say for example y'all are going to get like let's say you're going to order thai food or something like that pretty much everything at the thai restaurant is going to be pretty clean you know what i'm saying you can get shrimp or chicken or however they making it back there if or, or if you guys going to get hibachi or something like if you can watch the person cook it right in front of you that's pretty cool but if you're talking about fast food and you going to you know you ordering something from a you know whatever or it's greasy and heavy greasy stuff like you got to be careful with that but if you can order the, the the healthier alternative to something do that instead i told you guys before like a lot of times i don't eat a lot of fast food and when i do is it's you know, probably one or two places you know what i'm saying and so for me if i have to go somewhere or like there's been times where i was on the, on the go with somebody and i was in their car and i couldn't stop and and get what i wanted or go where i wanted to and they'll say oh well what do you want to eat at and i'll have to choose a place that i'm really not you know fond of but i know that they got healthier foods than all the other places around us because i don't even eat chicken i don't eat you know um, a whole bunch of stuff so for me i'll say okay well take me to chipotle you know what i'm saying and i'll get the sofritas or sofritas or whatever they call it. and i know it's, it's plant-based it's soy-based but I'm not eating an abundance of soy all the time. So this is a once in a once in a blue moon that I'm eating soy. So my nipples aren't about to get humongous and nothing like that because I'm eating, you know, one tofu thing one day out of the blue. No, but if I'm eating tofu every single day, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then maybe I need to I need to check myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going high on a tofu like that because you know it creates estrogen. So for me, I know, okay, I don't want to eat too much of that stuff, but if I'm, you know, if I'm gonna stop in somewhere, I'll get that. Or here's another thing that I like to do too. See, I I'll still eat something in like um <laughs> I'll still go into a little hole in the wall place, you know, like I'll get some fried catfish or I'll get something fried that's cooked, you know, in the back real fast. That's light seafood. And then the bad part about it was that it was fried, but the good part about it was that it was seafood. So I can kind of offset it and say, okay, well, at least it was this if I had to get it prepared, you know, um unhealthily. That's one thing, but at least it's a healthier version of what my options are. So keep that in mind when you're on the go. Try to always have the healthier version of what you know is available to you. Don't just don't just settle for what's there because that's what you know. I'm telling you, like that'll really mess you up. And um, even if you can order gluten-free versions of stuff, like if you go to Denny's or something like that, and, and they say, hey, we have the gluten-free option, like do that instead. Don't just go hard. Get your eggs sunny side up. You know, eat your eggs in the morning. If you're on the go or you're going somewhere and y'all got your eggs, eat your eggs sunny side up, have them like that. You know, don't get stuff prepared, smothered with all the extra, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> gravy and stuff. Don't do all that stuff. Just chill out. Enjoy your summer, but don't enjoy the food of the summer. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the experience of going outside. And I'm telling you, like, you're going to really appreciate it that you don't ruin your body because when it's time to go back in the lab, in the gym, you're not going to have fallen off that far. All right. Okay. Here's the next thing work out earlier in the day so that you can eat responsibly and what i mean by eating responsibly is like what i just said previously making sure that if you're going to have a big meal earlier in the day then you can have a lighter meal in the midday have an even lighter meal you know at the end of the day or have your body's feeling your body's going to tell you if you're if you're hungry or something like that especially if y'all been you know outside all day long but you know um schedule it like that so that you're being very responsible so if you work out first thing in the morning 
and you get your pump on you know your body needs fuel right after correct okay so we're working our muscles we do our, we do a chest day on a road now let's say for example we're still doing the example i just gave you we did 100 push-ups 100 pull-ups 100 dips 100 squats 100 sit-ups or something like that and we're in our hotel room on the go and this is our this is our routine for the week whatever or our spring break whatever right i do that as soon as i'm finished and i get up and i got the pump and i'm and i'm in my i'm in my you know in my beast mode right now off the floor i'm going to get something to eat and if i eat something i'm eating it nasty like i'm gonna go ahead and put the calories in right now because what i just did was i just depleted all my glycogen in my muscle stores and so what i'm gonna do is put the fuel back in my body right after the workout you can have a you can have a wild meal after your workout because all it's going to do is just cancel you out it's not going to do nothing too crazy so if you know you're going to have your big nasty meal maybe schedule your workout you know on the go like that but i would say to do it first thing in the morning so that you don't have to feel guilty later and especially if you're going to if you know you're not going to have your workout i mean your food right after your workout in the morning it's still cool to be able to say okay well i can eat this bad meal later because I worked out hard earlier, or at least I did something earlier. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Don't just not do anything, but try to do your workout first thing in the morning to get the guilt out of the way, right? Um, don't let your efforts go to waste. Remember that again. I said that before. Like, don't if you if you made progress with your body, keep in mind that you made that progress for a reason. You put in all that dedication. So don't just go to the summertime and fall off. And you know what's crazy? It sounds crazy that I'm saying it out loud. Like, don't just don't just fall off in the summertime. If you ever worked in the gym, like anybody who's ever watching this, anybody who's watching this on a replay, if you've worked in the gym, you know how dead it is in the summertime. I'm talking about like it's a ghost town, yo. Like nobody's in there. Where is everybody? That's what I want to know. Where is everybody? So if I'm talking to somebody right now because y'all are all gone. For the most part you see what i'm saying like it's everything is is available all the equipment is available in the summertime so everybody's somewhere so wherever you are keep in mind what i'm saying so that you're not falling off because when it's time to get back into the gym it's gonna be like you start from scratch you see what i'm saying so so don't lose it and start from scratch just because you wouldn't had a blast in the summertime keep your body up and remember if you keep your body up you're gonna look better than everybody around you and that's the goal. You don't have to look the best on the planet. You just got to look better than everybody around you. All right. <laughs> so don't let your, don't let your efforts go to waste. All right. Here's the next thing. Um, be active in the summertime too. So try to walk places. Try to walk everywhere. If y'all are gonna, if they got a pool, try to swim. You know, I'm not saying you got to lift weights, but you can swim in the pool. Y'all can go to the beach. Y'all can walk on the water. Be outside. Get a tan. Sweat. You know be active y'all go play golf miniature golf or whatever you're doing but be outside so that you know when you're eating the food it's more like fuel and it's not feeling like you know oh i'm just overindulging now if you're on a cruise or something like that which is something that i like they have a gym on a cruise and i try to utilize the gym on a cruise i mean i may be real tired one day and depending on you know what day they have it if it's only a three-day cruise maybe i won't but if it's something like three four days four, five days yeah use the gym and then go eat like let your routine still be there don't ruin your routine because you're on the go you see what i'm saying so keep that in mind but you can also burn it off so if you're working out and you're walking around and you're you're eating bad or you know you're going to eat bad try to offset it y'all going to the mall okay walk the mall a couple times you know park park all the way in the back at the parking lot so that you got to walk to the front of the store don't circle around the parking lot waiting for a close spot just so you could park you know what i'm saying like get the extra <laughs> burn the extra calories off any way you can get them you know what i'm saying so if you need to walk if you need to do something else do that but don't just you know what i'm saying don't be lazy about it you know and be eating bad you got to keep these things in mind okay and um the last thing i'm going to say is drink a ton of water and try to eat water-based fruits like watermelon because water-based fruits they digest through like your urine also so it's like you just peeing it out so you're eating it and you feel full but you just pee it out and so what that's doing is making your body subconsciously think that okay I, you know i ate already and so then you don't have to overindulge and also when you drink a lot of water water fills up your stomach as well and so you're not you're really not holding on to you're not starving to eat that much food if you're having food and your water or if you're drinking water all day so you just won't be dehydrated you know and um also, you got to remember that you may have certain cravings just because you've been outside and maybe your body's burning off, you know, more things. But, you know, when you're having those cravings, just kind of 
try to control it. But if you can, if you can, uh, if you can write it off because you did something else that was highly active that day, then that's okay. You know, so don't kill yourself. Still have fun this summer, but don't make it a you know, don't fall off. That's my thing. Just try to maintain it so that when it's time to start back in the gym, we're good to go. All right, I hope y'all learned something. Let me get to a couple of these, these comments. Do y'all have any questions for me right now while I'm in here? If you got some stuff, put it in the chat, man, so I can get y'all's questions real quick before I go. All right. All right, let's see what you got. You said, Mr. Urban World, you said your problem is eating when you're not hungry just to eat. See, if I ate like that, I would be working out like a monster. You need to start working out uh, when you're not feeling like working out and just to work out. And then you can do that just to eat. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> then it, then you can offset it. Then you can eat as much as you want to because you're getting busy all the time. Like if y'all, if you're a person that likes to eat, you need to really appreciate that you have something special. You know what I'm saying? Like you got something that a lot of people can't do. And if you can actually do that and you can take that food in your body, like even your top level bodybuilders, man, like listen to them talk. When they say the hardest part about getting in shape is the having to eat part. And some people are just like, oh, I can eat anything. I'm like, wow, you can eat anything. Like, yo, you can sit there and just seriously, just you just good. You can your stomach can can take that. If it can take that, man, like, do you know how big you can get or how you know magnificent you can look if you do the proper workout to go along with the fact that you like to eat a lot? Like, you can do you can do great things. So, you know, Kenny Vaughn said, any tips for gaining weight consistently? <sighs> yeah, I mean, you got to eat consistently. That's the first thing. If you know to gain weight, that means you got to add calories and you got to be in a caloric surplus. And that means a surplus of over what you already naturally burn off. So, you know, if you burn it off a certain amount of calories, then that means you got to eat more than what you already burn off on a regular day. Plus, you know, if you did an activity that day, now you got to eat more. So you just got to eat a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got to work out, of course, but you got to eat a lot, though. That when, when you eat, that kind of changes things, because realistically, I think that when you go to the gym and you work out, there's only so much progress you can make. There's only so much progress you can make because of our lifestyle. Like you're not gonna, you're not gonna get that much detail. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're going to the gym and you're every couple of weeks switching up exercises and you're like, okay, now this week I'm gonna do pinwheel curls and work my brachialis because I haven't worked in a couple of weeks. Okay, now I'm gonna do some rear delt stuff because I haven't done my rear delts. Okay, now I'm gonna work my hamstrings more. I'm gonna do my calves more because I want my calves to stand out like this. Like you're not going to get that type of detail. You know what I'm saying? Like that takes a lot. <laughs> and at that point, you know, what's the point? So the thing is, when you go in there, you don't have to, don't think about working out for those fine things. You can just stick to a workout that's simple enough that gives you um, all the all the mechanics and all the rules of the exercises that you need for your body and let that be it. Like don't get too fancy. And I, I had a video on this before, keep your workout simple. Like don't go in there trying to do too much like you can really be you know you can still look good by just doing minimal stuff you don't need much so if you do that and couple that with the fact that you're eating consistently and drinking your water then yeah you're good you'll put that weight on but don't um you know don't look for mass gainers put the weight on in, in uh calories remember have stuff like avocados have stuff like potatoes in a day those are calorically dense foods that don't take a lot have have a cup of oatmeal when you first get up in the morning you know what I'm saying? Like, don't have cereal, have your cup of oatmeal, have something that's sticky, that'll stay on your body. And then later on in the day, have a piece of fruit. You know, like you gotta be always munching on something. I had a piece of fruit. I have, I keep applesauce in my refrigerator. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a grown man. I keep applesauce, stacks of applesauce in my refrigerator. <laughs> and I eat pears. I don't like apples, but I'll eat pears. And so I have a lot of pears. I eat a lot of strawberries. I eat a lot of bananas. You know, I, I, I'm gonna not say a lot of bananas. I'll eat bananas and then I won't touch them for a couple weeks. And then I'll be like, eh. I'll get some bananas, you know, and then just for that week. So, but I keep in my, I keep them in my, um, you know, in my routine of what I'm eating. So all the time I'm grabbing something. I keep, um, I eat a lot of rice cakes midday, midday. I'm grabbing rice cakes. I'm snacking on stuff. You know, um, I eat a lot of like, uh, cashews, you know what I'm saying? I have a can of cashews and I'll pour some in my hand and I'll shake them up. I'll eat cashews throughout the day, you know? And then sometimes I'll just have candy. Right, I have some candy and be, be messing with stuff later on in the day, so I'm always munching on something so that the weight is sticking to me, and then I'm always drinking my water. You know what I'm saying? Like I got my water all day long, so drink it. I, I fill up a, a cup of water like this, I knock it out, and then I go fill it up again. <laughs> and for me, my water has to be ice cold because if it's not cold, I don't want to drink it. 
then then that's what makes me fall off. Like if somebody got a warm bottle of water laying around here, I'm not touching it, and my whole day's gonna be ruined because I don't have no cold water. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like ice in my water. So, <laughs> but that's just a personal thing. Anyway, I hope that answered your question, guys. I love doing this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to to download your ebooks. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hey, and listen, man, subscribe to my channel, yo. Like, why do I not have a lot of subscribers? What is happening right now? How come I don't have no subscribers? Everybody else is blowing up, and I need some subscribers, man. So, help me get to hundred thousand, man. I appreciate. it. I just want to have hundred thousand subscribers. I think I, I think I've, I've done some good work on here where I should be able to have more subscribers than I have. But I appreciate everybody for watching. You know, I'm gonna keep on giving great content. Don't forget to get your um, Kelly Brown's Naturals glass meal prep containers. The link is in the description below. And um. <laughs> yeah, Chick fil A fries. David Molina, I appreciate it. Subscribe. That's all I'm asking, man. It's free. It's free. Y'all not, I'm not asking for no money. I'm just asking for a subscription. Just press the button. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just press the button, man. All right. Well, look, I'll see y'all next week. If you have any questions, don't forget to, you can leave them in my, um, in my comments or you can leave them in my, um, you can leave them in the, the comments or you can can leave them in my community tab. I think I put questions in the community tab so you can respond in there as well if you have any questions that you want me to go over in my next video. So let me know. And I got some more stuff planned for you guys. We're going to be going hard all summer, man. And um, I just can't wait to get back into the gym. I'm starting to have the itch, to be quite honest with y'all. Actually, I think this summer I'm going to start – I need to do something. Like, I play golf. I think what I'm going to do is is um, I think I'm going to start going to the batting cages or I'm going to start – I'm gonna join a basketball team. I'm gonna start swimming or something. Like I just need to be active, man. I've been, I've been itching, and I like working out, but I want to have a a thing to do also, not just work out and then you know go home and go to bed. I want to be able to participate in some type of activity. So, anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all.